right? So I've been playing around with spirit on some leash manners. Uh, we've been doing a lot of this with Sirius. Um, Sirius is my service dog, so he goes everywhere with me. Come on. So with spirit, I'm trying to get him in a uh, position to where we can walk politely. Now, obviously, we're inside of the garage where there's not a whole lot of distractions. Um, but what I'm using is I'm using pressure on, pressure off, and uh, I want to keep him at my side. And so I'm using the e-collar to teach him the positioning. Let's go. So when he gets out too far, kind of me or he lags behind me so that he's crossing over. So I'm going to tap, 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 bring him back where I want him, and then release. And so what we're learning is that we need to stay tap, 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 tap uh, at my side. There's not a whole lot going on, uh, but we do this in our morning walks in the driveway. Tap, 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 and peace. So, as I was explaining this to a client just now, and um, I had this thing pop in my head, and sometimes when this happens, I'm like, oh, I should share this with more people. Okay, you want to go to bed? So uh, the way that I was explaining this to her is, you know how there's those computer games or those video games where you have to keep the, the little dot in the square, right? Okay, so I want you to imagine that there's a square at your side here where you've got a square on the floor and the dog's head is that dot. And we want to keep that dot in that square. We've got a leash in one hand that we can guide with and then we've got this that we can tap with. So this is your video game controller right here. When your dog wavers outside of that box, you're going to tap, tap, tap your video game until he's back in here. And so you can use this hand to kind of guide him back in. And what that does is that helps with that positioning. So while we're walking, this box is floating with us, and our dot needs to stay in the middle of the box. And when our dot gets too far ahead, we tap, 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 and we pull it back, and then we can go back to walking. When our dot gets too far out, we tap, 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 and we pull it back, and then we can go back to walking. Obviously, we tapping sit with our just a little bit higher than our normal working level um Sirius is kind of a big weenie to fly on my phone uh Sirius is kind of a big weenie about his e-collar so um he usually works on like a three or a four and so when I'm doing this I turn him up to a six right now so that's as high as it takes it's higher than a normal working level and so um, when we talk about tapping the dog to recall them and things like this, I talk about this kind of bumping the dog. So um, the sensation difference should be the difference between, hey, you, I'm talking to you right now, and then we're bumping, bump, 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 bump. We're not correcting, we're just bumping the dog, like, hey, hey, you need to get back in position. And then when they get back in position, we take away the bumping, and uh, it helps kind of get that heel position down. But he's been doing fabulous. Um, since my husband's been out of town a ton here lately, he's been coming with me um, and uh, doing a lot of public access work with me. And so he's uh, gotten a uh, deep dive into some heel work here recently. But anyways, I thought that was a cool little tip and I wanted to share with you guys. Have a good one.